Hi everyone, it's Raven and Delta. And we are here with an extra special edition of Fashion Photo Review. We are going to allow you to toot and boot the looks from the World of Wonder Holiday Party Drag Ball 2014. We won't be tooting or booting, but you will have the opportunity to vote by clicking the link on the video, or if you're on a mobile device, look for the link in the description below. Our first lady, the lovely, living for the lip sync herself, Miss Morgan McMichaels. Morgan had this dress custom made for her, and I was there when she did the fitting for this dress. Um, I think she looks exquisite. And the thing yes. about Morgan is, Morgan really likes all the finishing touches. So she has like a pop of color on the bracelet, really was smart in picking a shorter hairstyle with this for two reasons. One, I think her face looks beautiful. And then also, when you're wearing sequins up top and your hair is long, it wreaks havoc. Especially if you're gonna be in it all night. Yeah. Taking photos, you don't wanna have your wig snatched at, down your ass by the end of the night. Right. So if you think Morgan deserves to be Belle of the Ball or Belle with the Balls, vote uh, in the link below. Next up, Phoebe Price. Yeah, she's got her little, you know, she makes those little hats, the little fascinators. Oh, she does? Yeah, okay. those are all her things, and she's actually given me a couple. Why not go a little bit costumey? So she's got feathers and print and beautiful red, huge, amazing boobs. Her fascinator, I think she looks really, really great. And like it's this. a drag ball. Yeah. It's a drag ball. It's not like you're going to a red carpet for... It's holidays, Christmassy. Why not be fun? Next up, we have Miss Susie Wong. Yes. She's giving me like um, the flapper fantasy with this because she's got yeah. like, this shrug going on, the beautiful fur. And then if you were, I was Girl. there, so I saw it up close and there was this beautiful knot happening on the side of the dress. I thought it, she looked really exquisite. I like lots of jewelry like that. I think it looks really cool on there. And again, it's an editing thing. Sometimes it, the look just doesn't call for all that jewelry. And then sometimes when it's something like this, and again, it is a big like a, party. Yeah. She went for it. So if you think that she deserves to be Belle of the Ball, why don't you vote on the link below? Well, we haven't seen her for a while. Miss Vivian Panay showed up to the WOW holiday party. She did. And she showed up. She looks amazing. She showed up and she showed out. She looked absolutely gorgeous. She was in all white. But I think everyone was so focused on her beautiful skin. I thought the look was really, really pretty. Kind of gave me this Elizabeth Taylor sort of thing. I think you should vote below. That's what you gotta do. Miss Kelly Mantle in black. I think the thing about this dress is up close, you could see that it was like a damask print on print, and it was actually a denim dress. And Ooh. I know so much about this dress because my partner, David, designed this dress for Kelly. Um, and then Kelly decided that she wanted to wear gauntlets to cover up all her scars and tattoos on her arms from jail. Um, so that was her option. I don't, not everybody wanted to do that. And I love this hair on Kelly. I think it's something different for her. It's kind of a Veronica Lake thing. And up close, yeah. it wasn't really white. It was more of like a pearlized, grayish color. It was really, really pretty. Ooh. Miss Alyssa Edwards. More pearls. This is actually all pearls. <laughs> right. She didn't just get a pearl necklace, she had a pearl bodysuit. So she was just dripping in all that creamy pearl all over her body, set on nude net. And then she again had another fascinator. People were doing flowers, fascinators, hats. It was really all about going all out. If you think that Alyssa deserves to be the belle of the ball, you can vote on the link below. Miss Jasmine Master. A season seven contestant. Season seven, one of our first. This is gorgeous. Jasmine is a very vocal gal, and she is another person who went with a color statement. This was a solid blue dress, beautiful draping. Um, she makes some of her own wardrobe, so I'm not sure if she made this, but it was very, very beautiful. And she just did a big statement with earrings. Her earrings were very, very, very big, and she's kind of known for that. She yeah. loves to do a statement piece of jewelry. Usually it's a big earring, a big finger ring, flowers in her hair. Beautiful look. The brothers of Boulet. The Boulet brothers. In fuchsia. Yeah, I mean. Pop pink. A pop color. A lot of people, yeah. you know, it's not just red and green. Some people are doing purple. Beautiful tones of teal and blue and. I love it. I can't wear latex. So it's all bareback for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, my thing is that I, like, whenever I follow them or whenever I see them at an event, it's the, the wigs. I yes. lose my mind because the wigs are so beautiful. And that's really what I see in this. It's kind of Elvira-y, sort of. Maybe is it Amy Winehouse? You know, you say it's all these different things. I think it's just pure boule, creme boule. Ooh, Matthew Anderson. I mean, who else is going to stand next to this little styrofoam snowman and pose the house down. Matthew's wearing Marco Marco at the holiday party, and if it's that good, why not be featured twice at two different events in it? That's what I say. Yeah. Get your money's worth, girl. What if I wore a dress like that? Would I look like a baked potato with a shrug? <laughs> I think I would. 
That's why I don't do fashion shows. This next picture, the lovely and gorgeous Miss Delta Ward. Well, <laughs> Kelly and I had our dresses made by the same designer. That mm. is Thatchwork on Facebook. I was going for kind of like this Ann Miller, welcome to my Christmas home. Yeah. That's what I was feeling. And I feel it. Next up, Madam. Yes, legendary, the legendary Madam. I was on the red carpet with her and she, oh gosh, she's just like, she outdoes everyone. She's a damn puppet, but she outdoes everyone. And you kind of don't want to be near her because if you think you're being funny or witty or whatever, it's like, it's just closed. It's like, and scene, you know, it's like, that's it. Next up, Eddie DeBar from the House of Debacolus. And again, someone who made their own costume. Really, this is truly is somebody yeah. who has a defined specific look that he likes to wear. And Eddie is always fully realized. Next up, Cassandra Cass. I mean, Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. The fantasy, fur, high heels, skin. This is what I would have worn. Would your man make you that dress? I have that dress. Oh. There's lots of nude inserts, but I have that dress. <laughs> <laughs> Another season seven queen came out from Tucson, Arizona, Miss Tempest de Jour in blue. I love this color of holiday blue. It's really, really exciting. And not a lot of people have this on. She spent money on this and she looked really, really great. She's super, super tall and long and leggy. And I love that her tattoos are out. I think that's really fun. If you think Featuring. that she deserves to be the belle of the ball, vote for Tempest at the link below. Next up, downtown Melissa Brown. Rich. She's rich. rich. She's rich, honey. I'm curious as to whether or not she painted this side of her face or she's covered it with the hat icicle. I don't think that's a hat. Isn't that a candle charger from Target? Could be a salad bowl. Hey. In any event, she was done in mirrors and rhinestones and silver and the boobs. She probably had the deepest cleavage at the party. Next up on our list, Big Frida. Honey. Honey. Honey, she was giving you nutcracker in this one. She just had the epaulets up here and then the jacket was very tailored, provincial, like Christmas ornament. Everybody had a story at the party and Big Frida was not gonna be left out. Next up, one of my home gals. My home, home girl too. Gals, Miss Trina Modell. She is ageless, timeless, beautiful, blonde bombshell. The makeup was really, really beautiful in this picture. This night she looked really, really great and she just made a brief appearance. She sort of made a couple of rounds and sauntered out in her little Santa baby sexy look. What do you think? I think that if you want Trina Modell to win, $500, vote in the link below. All right, holiday party, let's get sickening. La ganja estranja. Feeling the fantasy in this. This is, you know what? Michael's, Moscatel's, feathers, flowers, lights. This uh, Part of this lit up. This was like a decorated Christmas confection. She looked yummy. She still had all her skin out. She didn't have to drop to the ground. Our final queen up for $500 cash prize is Glenn Allen. A Hollywood staple. Yes. Always decorated head to toe. And he calls this the dress. Very, very exquisite. The picture might not do it justice because the train is enormous, handcrafted, lots of tool and different things. There's things hanging off, there's feathers. This is a lot of work. If you want Glenn Allen to win $500 cash, you need to vote in the link below. Since I couldn't make it, I was very, very busy. I want all of you people out there who would have voted for me to vote for Del Twerk. Aww. And because I love her so much, if you vote for me with her votes, I will straighten her wig for her. It was straight what earlier. That? It was straight, but it's been so, the weather, it's been so unpredictable. Our top, top two of the, the week, week is, you decide. Vote in the link below. Right there, with your mouse, click. Trend alert. Pearls, baubles, bangles, spangles of milk. Milky threads. <laughs> Milky shots. <laughs> Do you have a YouTube channel and want to be part of the WOW Presents Network? Email us at YouTube at worldofwonder.net. Don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents.